Peggy 16. Hi everyone, this is senior level designer Mark Hurst here to give you a tour of our new map, Kyber Stronghold. Kyber Stronghold is a series of zigzags, tight alleyways, long streets, buildings and gardens. This five point conquest map is inspired by the city of Peshawar in northwest Pakistan and it sets the record for the largest map to date. Let's start with point C. The two floors on point C create a dual layer of combat which keeps the crossfire intense. With almost no cover on the capping area of point C itself, it's essential that your team dominates both floors to win. Taking control of the opponent's top floor is a difficult job, but easier to hold. The four major corners are designed to create bottlenecks and are composed of inside, center and outside paths. This map forces teams to coordinate attacks on both the inside and the outside paths in order to advance. Inside paths are all about suppression, while the outside paths are for flanking or advancing the line. While there are also dozens of second floor vantage points throughout the map, use the second floors to provide your team intel and lock down enemy lanes to hold greater distances. Recons. The Kyber Stronghold is full of tight alleyways and corners which makes SMG very useful, yet the five major lanes create perfect opportunities for snipers. Use Oracle on the inside turns where there are the most corners and the enemies will be approaching fastest. Use Cloak to quickly cross roads and rush outside lanes. Now for the Assault. Like all Five Point Conquest maps, an assault's job is never done. Shotguns will be instrumental in breaking through the inside lanes but won't help much in the open streets. Assault rifles have the most flexibility in the entire map, moving from open spaces to closed and from cover to cover. Use heat on the inside paths to slow down and suppress the enemy, and use blitz to push quickly down the outside lanes. And finally, the Specialist. The specialist really gets the best of both worlds here. Use LNG to suppress and hold corners and lanes, or use shotguns to quickly advance the line. Blackout is great for holding the inside paths and stopping enemy advances, while Aegis works wonders on the outside paths and open lanes. Armed with this knowledge, you'll be ready to dominate the Kyber Stronghold. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoy the new map. Don't forget about Project Topos, please keep the feedback coming, and I'll see you guys in game. <laughs>